Hi everyone and welcome to the VMD crash course for beginners. In this video, together we will learn how to calculate the distance between two amino acids in a protein during a molecular dynamic simulation. So we're going to have a trajectory or DCD file resulted, resulted from a molecular dynamic simulation. And we're going to have a protein structure file and we will calculate the distance between any two amino acids or amino acid and a metal or any two selections in the protein structure. So here's the script that we're going to use today. It's a general script from the VMD uh, scripts library. And what it does actually is it uh, determines the distance between the center of mass of two selections. So the center of mass of selection A, which is say amino acid number one, and uh, the center of mass of amino acid number two, and it, it measures the distance and it gives you an output file uh, for the distance, changing the distance with uh, changing the time step. And also it enables you to have a an histogram and you determine the number of bins in the histogram during you, your measurements. So let's apply this script and learn how to use it. So uh, I will go and open my PSF file first. Then I will get a shorter trajectory for the sake of the tutorial. I have it here, which is uh, 75 frames. And I say load, yeah. Here is it. And as we used to do with the scripts, is you go to extensions, TK console. And first I will source my script. I will say source. I have it in my trajectory first. Let's get sure that we do have it. I will say ls. Yeah, and here I have the script distance.tcl. So I will say source. Distance.tcl. I will hit enter. And to measure the distance, let's measure the distance between the amino acid number 100 and amino acid number 150. I'm saying randomly, I will say distance, okay? And I will say res ID 100 and res ID 150. And I will say, give me five bins of my histograms because uh, I have only 75 frames, so I will take only five. And I will say, give me the output as distance, Let's have an extension Excel or text.txt and histogram.txt. And I will hit enter and it's finished. It's very short and if you have a larger, larger trajectory, it will take a longer time, but since mine is quite short, so it took nothing. Let's go to check the output. Here is that distance.txt. And here you have step time step zero, and you have distance three, 30 angstroms, and it goes down until 74. And these are the 75 frames because VMD counts zero as a frame, so we have 75 frames. And you have your distance in angstrom, and can you you can get this to any plotting program like Python or whatever, and you can plot your distance. And now we are measuring how the distance change. Say for example, the two residues are a catalytic residues and we want to see how the catalytic side stay intact during a simulation so if it increases too much there's something happening or they come together so it's very very important to 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 follow the distance between amino acids during the simulation also before i forget we can check the histogram so we choose five so one two three four five and it gives you the histogram you can uh, represent your data as a histogram uh, if you like and that's it, it's very simple. So let's revise it again. So what we did is source, distance, and distance, res ID 100 and res ID 150, and distance to text as an output file and histogram to text as a histogram file. And I kept the number of bins for my histogram to five, and I hit enter and it's calculated. And that's it. And thank you and see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, if you have any feedback, don't forget 
write in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to tell me what would you like to learn in the next videos because i'm going somehow randomly but i'll try to cover all the basic stuff of vnd thank you